So now that we have this message property being set on the view when the view is added to the stage, and then the init function called, let's hand, let's hand that uh, responsibility over to a mediator. So create a view mediator, and we'll just create this class and jump into it. So the view mediator is going to obviously require the view, and it's also going to require um, the terminology that uh, robot legs uses is on register. So when this view is registered, we will set the message to hello world and we'll call the init function. Now if we dive back into this code, um, now that we've created our view mediator, all we have to do is set the view to the event target. And then we can say view mediator on register. Now once we run this, we'll get the exact same result as we got before. This time it's just the view mediator in the on register, which is which is being created each time that that view is added to the stage. Um, then the view property is set on the view mediator and it is um, setting up setting it up the view up through the on register. Anyway, next uh Next, we'll show you how to set up a mediator map so you don't have to directly say, is this a view and is this view mediator? We'll be able to map a certain type of view to a certain type of view mediator.